Step into a world where time travel takes center stage. Welcome to the 1966 TV series, The Time Tunnel. This sci-fi adventure follows two scientists, Tony Newman and Doug Phillips, as they find themselves bouncing through different historical periods. No need for complicated plots or intricate narratives. It's a straightforward journey through time. As you embark on this nostalgic ride, keep your eyes peeled for the unexpected. Funny, shocking, and even sad facts are waiting to unfold, promising an emotional roller coaster. The question lingers, can you share a personal story of how this series has inspired or impacted your life? Or perhaps, out of the myriad roles, which one became your favorite? Before you dive into the comments to share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic show, know that there's more to come, more laughter, more surprises, and more heart-wrenching moments. So, keep watching. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this timeless series? Share it with us. The Time Tunnel, a TV series from 1966, offers a distinctive take on time travel, distinguishing itself from other shows like Quantum Leap. Unlike its more enduring counterparts in Irwin Allen's portfolio, such as Lost in Space and Land of the Giants, it failed to capture widespread audience interest, leading to its one-season run. One noteworthy aspect is the captivating visual elements. The psychedelic vortex, reminiscent of a kaleidoscope, and the slow-motion effect when protagonists Tony Newman and Doug Phillips emerge from the time limbo contribute to a visually stunning experience. The TikTok installation, with its forbidden planet-like living complexes, adds a sumptuous touch to the show. The music, composed by John Williams and supervised by Lionel Newman, remains a brilliant component, complementing the overall atmosphere. General Kirk, portrayed by Whit Bissell, and the alluring Lee Merriweather bring memorable performances to the series. The Cold War flavor adds an intriguing dimension to the narrative. A distinctive feature appreciated by viewers is the fantasy element tied to the protagonists retrieving their original clean clothes before leaving a particular time period, a touch of escapism that enhances the show's appeal. Notable guest stars, including Robert Duvall and Chase Through Time, contribute to the series' entertainment value. Despite these positive aspects, its failure to sustain audience interest may be attributed to less compelling character development compared to Alan's other creations. The time travel concept, while interesting, wasn't enough to capture the fancy of the viewing public. In retrospect, the pilot episode, Rendez Vues with Yesterday, stands out, featuring Gary Merrill and Post the Day the Earth Stood Still Michael Rennie. Episodes like One Way to the Moon and The Day the Sky Fell Down are also notable for various reasons, adding depth to the series. In conclusion, though not Alan's most successful venture, it offers a unique visual experience and a blend of fantasy and adventure that may still resonate with fans of classic television. In the chronicles of classic television, the time tunnel emerges as a distinctive 1966 sci-fi series navigating the uncharted waters of time travel. Much like its contemporaries, such as Star Trek, the show effortlessly sidesteps language barriers. Whether encountering Bronze Age Greeks or medieval knights, the characters seem impervious to linguistic challenges. The series cunningly treads around this quirk, initially confining Doug and Tony to English-speaking pockets before venturing into realms where logic demands a linguistic blind spot. Episodes like Revenge of the Gods and Devil's Island showcase this anomaly where diverse historical figures effortlessly converse in English, adding a layer of intrigue to the temporal odyssey. A noteworthy detail surfaces as John Zirmba, a familiar face from the Twilight Zone, makes a cameo in an episode titled No Time Like the Past. Here, he embodies the role of a scientist entangled in the fabric of time, drawing parallels between these two sci-fi dimensions. Distinctive elements pepper the series, as ID badges bear the cryptic insignia TikTok accompanied by a numerical identifier. These badges become the emblematic tokens, marking the journey through the enigmatic corridors of temporal exploration. As the narrative unfolds, the series maintains its visual allure. The psychedelic vortex, reminiscent of a kaleidoscope, captures the essence of temporal dislocation. The TikTok installation, akin to something out of Forbidden Planet, becomes a visual feast, complementing the overall allure of the show. Not to be overlooked is the musical prowess of John Williams, coupled with Lionel Newman's supervision, which adds a captivating layer to the series' atmosphere. The Cold War backdrop provides an intriguing twist, offering a distinctive flavor to the storyline. 
The protagonists' fantasy like retrieval of their original attire before departing a particular era becomes a touch of escapism, enhancing the show's unique charm. In summary, the time tunnel, though not securing a prolonged place in the TV landscape, stands as a testament to the experimental spirit of 1960s sci-fi. It weaves a narrative where time transcends linguistic confines, inviting viewers into a visually enchanting world where past, present, and future collide a timeless exploration. Airing in 1966 and 1967, the time tunnel utilized 1968 as its present year for Project TikTok. The series took an intriguing twist in 1978 with One Way to the Moon and Town of Terror, while 1D883 set the stage for Crack of Doom and Raiders from Outer Space. Despite its advanced technology, the show's premise wasn't entirely original. In the 1950s, Captain Zero explored the same concept of an advanced Earth, using a time machine to influence historical outcomes for mankind. This early space opera TV series included tracking and monitoring events from a laboratory, foreshadowing elements later seen in the time tunnel. Lasting only one season, the series marked the shortest of Irwin Allen's science fiction ventures. Unlike his more enduring creations, such as Lost in Space and Land of the Giants, it failed to sustain widespread audience interest. In summary, the time tunnel, though not securing a lasting place in the TV landscape, stands as a unique experiment in 1960s sci-fi. It weaves a narrative where time transcends linguistic confines, inviting viewers into a visually enchanting world where past, present, and future collide a timeless exploration. Amidst the sci-fi surge of 1966, the show found its place, not just in the annals of television, but in the shared universe of props. Interestingly, the gadgets and gizmos employed were not exclusive to its temporal escapades. Fans may recognize familiar tools and contraptions from other shows, creating a unique interconnection across the sci-fi landscape. As the series unfolded, it rode the coattails of a sci-fi renaissance in television. 1966 witnessed the debut of not only the show, but also a galaxy of other shows like Star Trek, Batman, The Green Hornet, Ultraman, It's About Time, and Space Ghost. This genre explosion came on the heels of groundbreaking series like The Twilight Zone and The Outer Limits, paving the way for a new era of speculative storytelling. The 1966 World Science Fiction Convention in Cleveland offered fans a sneak peek, generating anticipation before its official television premiere. In this exploration of temporal dimensions, the characters seamlessly navigated through different historical eras without facing language barriers. Whether conversing with Bronze Age Greeks or medieval knights, the protagonists remained impervious to linguistic challenges. Episodes like Revenge of the Gods and Devil's Island showcased this intriguing quirk, adding a layer of complexity to their temporal odyssey. The series continued to employ distinctive elements such as ID badges adorned with a cryptic insignia TikTok and numerical identifiers. These badges became emblematic tokens marking the enigmatic corridors of temporal exploration. The visual allure remained intact with the psychedelic vortex and the forbidden planet-esque TikTok installation, creating a captivating atmosphere. John Williams' musical prowess under Lionel Newman's supervision added an additional layer to the unique charm. Despite its advanced technology and captivating elements, the show faced challenges in sustaining widespread audience interest, leading to its one-season run. The premise, while not entirely original, took a unique turn in episodes like One Way to the Moon and Town of Terror, further exploring the intricacies of time travel. Captain Z rose earlier foray into a similar concept in the 1950s with Advanced Earth and time manipulation foreshadow with elements seen in the show. In the realm of 1960s sci-fi, it remains a unique experiment, weaving a narrative where time transcends linguistic confines. A visual enchantment where past, present, and future collide in a timeless exploration of temporal anomalies. The series, though not a long-lasting fixture, leaves an indelible mark on the landscape of classic television.